Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute. Soybeans and corn both closed higher on Wednesday, continuing to keep an eye on the very dry weather in some key growing areas of Argentina, further limiting their crop potential for this year. Also, the trade does expect more near-term harvest delays in parts of central Brazil for soybeans, and that pushes back second crop corn planting there. Both corn and beans also have an eye on conditions in the United States ahead of widespread planting. USDA's prospective planting numbers are out at the end of March. Conditions in the U.S. Plains and the East Midwest were the supportive factors for Chicago and Kansas City wheat, with nearby contracts there both closing sharply higher. It's too wet in parts of the eastern Midwest, too dry in parts of the Plains. Minneapolis pretty much just followed, also closing solidly higher. Live and feeder cattle finished lower, pressured by the week's steady to lower cash business. Moderate trade in most of the major feeding areas did develop by Wednesday afternoon. Feeders had additional pressure from that modestly higher move in corn. And hogs closed lower with pork down $1.50 at midday. That included a $9.02 drop in the belly primal. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.